everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Karen and I'm here with my friend and roommate, Mickey Nunn. Hi. Um, all of her information will be linked in the description down below. But I need to do a little disclaimer before we carry on with the rest <laughs> of this video. I, I genuinely love Converse. Um, every school university has its own little flaws, of course, but we're just poking fun and we are campus tour guides for real. And so we have a lot of experience um, with this campus. So take that information how you will. Yes. <laughs> hey guys, so my name is Karen. I will be your college campus tour guide for today. So Converse started in 1889 because Dexter Edgar Converse's daughter cannot get into any other women's college. As you can see, these are where we keep our honor code sightings. And only the class of 21 was able to hold accountable to it. Right through these doors, we have the famous Hazel B. Abbott Theater. This place is haunted. All right, so we're gonna move this tour outside, so if you guys could just follow me. This right here is the Converse College seal. You don't get too close to it. Hey, get away. You step on it, you won't graduate. It's true. Here we have the front of Wilson Hall where no one can really find the entrance to the bell tower anymore, um, but I'm legally not allowed to talk about why. This is the front of campus where no matter what you tell them, all your George Ash orders will come straight here. This is Carnegie Hall. It is the building for human resources. Glad it's not the building for human contact because I don't think anyone works in there. This is Twitchell Auditorium. It's where we're supposed to host our graduations, but you know, these days it's not happening much. Sorry, class of 2020. All right, let's head down to the library now. So what majors are you interested in? Hey, can you slow down? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Come on. This is Mickle Library. You see it? It's haunted. If you're anything like me, you will spend many hours crying in this building over a final exam that you will fail. Gwathney Wing of the library, we have one of the largest music libraries in the Southeast. Um, but I never learned how to read music, so. Carmichael Hall, home to the humanities, education, foreign languages, and the largest buildup of asbestos I have ever seen. I'm pretty sure a family of raccoons lives in this big rose bush. They're nice. Um, yeah, so parking is free. Um, they have laundry in pretty much every building. Hey, what's that building? What building? This is Lever Auditorium. It's haunted. This is the Montgomery Student Center, where you can buy overpriced textbooks, overpriced smoothies, Overpriced phone chargers. What can't you buy? Alcohol. Anymore. This is Gibbs Chapel, where you can practice piano, religion, and singing. That can be heard all over the Montgomery Student Center. They don't like to admit it, but sneakers used to be a bar in the 70s with $1 beer. Went to the dining hall and hated all the options, which you probably will most of the time. You can come to Freshens. Get a different food or the overpriced smoothies. This is the quad where someday in October it goes from this. Hi, <laughs> Murphy girl. This is the quad where one day in October it goes from a beautiful green to this ugly mess. This is a part of the campus tour where we just walk in silence because I have nothing else to say. This is Pfeiffer Science Hall. If you're thinking about biology as a major, no, you're not. So this is a smoke-free, tobacco-free campus. Um, is it a dry campus? Um, no. This is Blackman Music Hall. I've, uh, I've seen many, many a music major walk in and never out. This is the Millican Fine Arts Center. If you're looking for an ego boost, why don't you peek your head into one of the giant-headed art major studios? It'll make you feel better about yourself. So now we're walking up dorm row, and this is Belk Hall, which is great because you have your own bathroom and they provide toilet paper. 
And by toilet paper, I mean two-ply sandpaper. My favorite thing about Converse um, is probably the community aspect. You know, everyone's a big family here. Right, Christina? Right. So this is Cut Hall, and I know there's caution tape on the front steps, but the only thing you have to be cautious about is the people quarantining from COVID in there. This is Williams Hall. It's the only dorm building that allows pets on the uh, first, I mean, the third floor. So does anyone have any questions? Not you, mom. What about you? My favorite fun fact is that there are 286 bathrooms on this campus. Supposedly, there's only one for that whole dorm building. So behind Andrews Hall is our wellness center where we have counseling services. And if you didn't think you need therapy, just wait till you come here. This is Fleming Hall. It might be our newest dorm building, but at max, 50% of the things work 100% of the time. So to give you a reference of where we're at, this is the back of G Dining Hall. You know, I thought that after high school, people would stop stealing my lunch money. Turns out, uh, I actually gave them permission to do that when I paid them for room and board. Here at Converse, we have a bunch of fun traditions, like dumping your friends in the fountain whenever they get engaged, or spending a lot of money on people that you call your littles or calling campus safety to let you into your room that you locked yourself out of, and it takes them an hour to walk three feet. This is Dexter Hall, the only freshman dorm building with consistently working elevators and printers. So now we are wrapping up our campus tour. Does anyone have any questions? Again, mom, not you. What about you? And this wraps up our campus tour of our beautiful, wonderful, established, amazing, one-of-a-kind Converse College. Again, all of this was a joke. Most of it was a joke. Um, I hope you all enjoy the video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. Mickey's links are all in the bio and I will see you in my next video. Hit that bell button so you never miss a post. <laughs> Bye everyone. <laughs>